Hello, Pigagar the Beard Gamer, and today I'm going to show you a game I bought from uh, GG Lounge Viticulture. So, GG Lounge is a, a game store in Viseu, in, uh, in Portugal, and they have many, many board games and uh, at great prices. And this one I got from them it was the the best price I could find for the Viticulture Essential Edition. So, let's see what's in the box. Beard mug. Okay, so let's start by opening. I usually buy the games because I see something that interests me on them, uh, but I sometimes don't do uh, uh, great research on what comes in the game so this is all a bit of a surprise when I do open the game for the first time there are some things that I know will be in there there are other things that are a pleasant surprise so first surprise a discount code <laughs> for a future buy and then we have here rules now this is the same kind of, of rules the same kind of paper used in uh, wingspan so this game is uh, uh, from Stonemeyer games uh, as is wingspan and we can see the quality of this book uh, it's the same as the quality of, of wingspan so rules summary and reference okay double-sided Then we have here six uh, boards like this. So I believe these are the player boards. They have, as you can see here, yellow, and we have white, uh, orange, so they come in six different colors. Right. And we have two sets of these tokens. These, uh, I believe, are the coins used in the game. So we have one, two, and five in, in uh, face value. And we have here quite a lot of them I believe 52 in value of 1 8 value of 5 and 12 uh, with a value of 2 let me just see yeah. okay nice I know there's a set of, of metal coins for this game maybe someday the board game very nice the art is, is fabulous and then we have here some zip bags. And, okay. I'll show you a bag of this. So. This is some sort of building. We have what I believe to be workers another type of building cylinder this, I don't know what's for and a few more workers so, if I can show you we have another bag Let's see what's in this one 
big guy, as you can see compared. Okay. Some more buildings. Windmill. Uh, rooster. So several buildings and meeples. And I do believe this must come in. So we have your yellow that I showed you. We have the same thing in orange. Green. White. So one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. Okay. Then we have a grey meeple and this green grapes tokens as I see in Stonemaier games like Scythe and, and Wingspan we have these little boxes tidy here we have this plastic insert okay fits nicely in the box and then we have oh I like this and glass beads okay a whole bunch of them Then have here four sets of cards. Okay. I'll open one of them to show you and to see the quality of the of these cards. So these are small size cards. And so we have here, for instance, a merchant. Uh, we have a judge. Have crush expert and certified teacher, so this uh, seem to be characters. Have a mentor, nice quality cards, great art. We have here a politician, okay, and they each seems to have a special ability that probably will be able to use during the, the game. So. This set of cards seem to be grapes. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Here, type of grapes, then another type. We have another, uh, another type of grapes. So. world-famous Syrah. Okay. The next set. have no idea what this is, but we'll find out when I read the rules. So, it's like this. Finally, on these small, smaller cards, we have this deck. Again, some characters. We have here the wine critic, the contractor, tour guide, and like the other ones, they have special abilities here on on the box. Then, finally, we have two sets of these bigger cards. So. Oh, 
also some characters. This is Mama Lena, then we have Mama Alisa, Mama Dean, okay, several women, Mama Ariel, okay, and then we have the guys. Papa Andrew, Papa Christian, Papa Jay, and so on. So we have a set of boys and girls. That will probably be the characters that we will be playing with. And then the final set of cards that I will show you. Here we go. Sold. We have a bunch of cards like this. Different values here in the back and different values in front of this. Great quality cards. And then finally, ah, this I know what it is. The Automa card. So this is for solo play. It's a, it's a uh, almost a Stonemaier trademark. The Automa cards that allow uh, for solo play. So that's what's in the box of Viticulture. Uh, I hope that I'm able to convince my wife to play this game with me uh, because she loves wine and uh, and wine making. So. I hope this will uh, enable us to have some some great times together playing board games and sipping some wine along the way. Thanks for watching. Cheers.